Hello, my name is Mike. I'm a targeted individual from Germany. I'm 57 years old and I will show you today how to stop electronic torture. Electronic torture done by secret services around the world, by Homeland Security, the NSA, FBI, CIA, MI5, MI6 and, like I said, other secret services and police squads all around the world. Electronic torture is done with scalar wave equipment used by your perpetrators and like every equipment there is a weak point and I will show you this weak point today. I will give you a short example here with this torch that will turn off this camera now. So all you see is a white ball instead of my picture and exactly this we're going to do with the scalar wave equipment that is used for electronic torture. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you what you have to buy for very little money to get rid of electronic torture. So basically what you need is a CVS driver and a power supply for that. Let's start with a CVS driver. This is a device that produces scalar waves and as you see here it consists of a secondary coil and a resonance circuit which is basically exactly the same what you see here on this photo of a Tesla coil. A Tesla coil is very large and nothing you want to put in your apartment so the CVS driver is perfect for your needs. So what happens when you turn on a CVS driver? I will show that to you with a picture of my room and this is how your perpetrators see your room through the scalar wave equipment. Now Let's place one of those CVS drivers on my desk and this is what they would see if your CVS driver is run by 12 volts and 5 amps on the power supply. On the next photo you see the white ball, the invisible zone on a 24 volts and 20 amps power supply and if you have a strong CVS driver with 48 volts and 40 amps, they can see nothing at all in your room. So if they don't see anything, they can shoot at you and they can't torture you. So this is one of the two devices you can buy. This one is called induction heater. It's used for, as it says, induction heating and it produces tons of scalar waves that make you invisible to the scalar wave equipment. When you turn on the induction heater, you can touch the coil. As you see here in this video, there's no danger, but if you take, for example, a piece of metal and put it in the coil, it will heat up in seconds. Instead of a induction heater, you can also buy a device called flyback driver. Flyback drivers are very cheap. You can get them for $15 on eBay. You can use a flyback driver if you want to make arcs and sparks like you see here in this little video, but you don't have to do that to produce tons of scalar waves that make you invisible to the equipment that your perpetrators use. So the most important thing when you buy a flyback driver or an induction heater is the power supply. You can use for a small induction heater, of course, a PC power supply. It should have at least 500 watts and this will give you about 12 volt and 40 amps, which is enough for a little induction heater or a small flyback driver. If you want to spend more money, you should get a good power supply. Good power supplies are a little expensive, as you might know. You might also have 
a good power supply in an old receiver or an old television. If you have that in your basement, take a look. Maybe it has 24 to 48 volts and a lot of amps to run your flyback driver. When you have your power supply and your induction heater or your flyback driver, please always turn on your power supply. First, I recommend you to make a switch between the power supply and the CVS drivers, a power switch like seen here on this photo. Connect minus from the power supply to minus from the CVS driver and make a switch between the plus pole as seen here on this photo. You can finish your setup simply by placing the power supply and your flyback driver in a shoebox so you can take it with you to another room or to your working place. You can also place a small induction heater in your car so you can drive without any problems. Please be so kind and recommend this video to other targeted individuals and you can also download this video and publish it on your own YouTube channel if you like and you can also translate this video into other languages to make it available for targeted individuals in other countries. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Thanks a lot for watching this video and bye bye until the next time.